reason why black people are so addicted to materialism is we use materialism to vicariously add wealth to ourselves. In other words, I don't think much of me. I, I ain't nobody. But if I put these Air Jordans on, I will be. If I buy this house in a white suburb, I will be. You understand? If I get this white woman, I will be. If I get this Louis Vuitton bag, I will be. So we use wealth to replace self-worth. We use materialism to replace self-worth. That's why we're self shopaholics That's why we're always competing with each other. And we got a big issue of self-hate that is always the elephant in the room. I don't care what the ideology is. Socialist, nationalist, integrationist, Hebrew, more than the Wapi and God in their nation of Islam. And we've gotten so bad that the women and the men compete with each other now. So in most other races, the men might compete with each other. But the man and the woman don't compete. You ain't never seen no Chinese woman compete with no Chinese man. You ain't never seen no white man compete with no white woman. But in our community, it's literally everyone's competing with everybody else. So you got a husband and a wife, they competing with each other. So the ego is just out of control because everybody feels worthless. And, 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 and feeling worthless, the only thing we think can give us a sense of ease is to know we're outdoing other black people. So we're in a rat race to literally outdo other black people. We wake up wanting to look better than them. We wake up wanting to dress better than them. We wake up wanting to make more money than them. Will Smith said what? Black people spend too much money they don't have to buy stuff they don't need to impress people they don't even like. You see, so you'll go out and buy a new car that you don't need and can't afford just so it looks better than the woman next door to you who you don't even know. That's the situation we're in. We literally go into debt for self-hate reasons. We just want to be the HNIC, head negro in charge. Whether it's the head negro with the best car, head negro at the church, head negro in charge of the community organization, head negro with the best pocketbook, head negro with the, with the best looking woman. It's all about the HNIC syndrome being one above the rest and it's killing us because our children are being bred, socialized, and indoctrinated with that same mindset. I see it in the schools. In second grade, they're already knocking each other for dark skin, big noses, nappy hair. In second grade, they're already saying those sneaks ain't working and I got on Ed Joe and these cars one fifty. They didn't wake up with that. No. They're being taught that at home and in the community. So we're literally breeding baby Negroes to take our place.